What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jana if you're new here and today I am just going to do a get to know me video. Um, for anybody that is new you might not know literally anything about me and this may just be a refresher for people that already do know me. So I just wanted to give my subscribers or my followers, whatever you want to call it, a chance to get to know who I am and a little bit more about me. So I went on YouTube and found a video that someone's already done, took the questions, and I'm making it into my own now. So um, kind of fun, something different, just kind of a sit down video. So um, we'll get right into it. So I put everything onto my phone and um, I'm just going to follow the questions off of there. Okay, so the first question is where did you grow up? So I grew up in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It's where um, I've lived my whole life. I've lived in the same house my whole life. Next question, it kind of goes in with that, is where do you currently live? I still live in Winston. I moved away for college. I lived in Boone for three years. And that's the only time I've ever moved out of my house was when I went to college. So I want to be in the Winston area if I can. I love Winston. I love home. The next question is dogs or cats? I'm 100% a dog person. If you don't know, I have three dogs at home. Um, my boyfriend has a dog. So I basically have four dogs and I am literally obsessed with dogs. If I'm out in public and I see someone with a little dog or any kind of dog really, I'm going to go pet it. I'm going to sweet talk that dog because I love dogs. I want one more dog maybe. After I move out, I'm going to get one more dog. Cats, I don't have anything against them, but I'm kind of allergic to them, so they make my <laughs> They make me sneeze and they just make my allergies all messed up. So I just kind of try to stay away from cats. I think they're cute. I wouldn't mind having a cat if I wasn't allergic. But uh, I don't like how they jump on the furniture and on the counters and stuff like that either. Uh, no. Um, the next question is funniest moment throughout high school or college. So I don't really remember a lot from high school regarding like funny moments but um in college there's just like countless amount of funny memories that I have I lived in a house with um four other girls my senior year of college and literally two of the girls that I lived with were two of the funniest people I've ever met in my life like Rachel and Delaney if you're watching this you know that it's about you you two always kept me laughing and I there's like not a day that went by that we weren't laughing about something. I loved living with them. Um, another like funny moment. There's not like a specific instance I could sit here and say, but another funny moment um, or funny some whatever is anything to do with like Matt and his friends too. Um, his like I don't know. All of his friends are just really funny. They have great sense of humor, and I just think they're funny and cool to hang out with. So what year were you born? Um, I was born in 1996. I am 23. I just turned 23. Um, my birthday is November 27th. So I'm freshly 23. Yay. Um, the next question is, are you in or have you gone to college? So I went to college. I graduated in May. Um, I went to Appalachian State University, and that is in Boone, North Carolina. It's only about an hour away from where I live. So I graduated from there. I studied psychology, and that's basically it. Um, what is your favorite drink? So typically, I really only drink water or sweet tea. I grew up drinking sweet tea. My mom always has sweet tea in our refrigerator, but if I am like going to a restaurant, I'm more than likely going to order water and I always have a bottle of water with me. Like I keep this by my side literally every single day. Um, I love water. I like staying hydrated, baby. Let's see. The next question is, you're, per you're wearing perfume. What is the scent? So, um, I typically flip between two scents. I wear, um, like this time of year, I really like Estee Lauder's Modern Muse. It's very warm and just 
comfy fall and winter scent. And then in the springtime, I wear, spring and summer, I wear um, Gucci Bloom. And it's the one in just the pink bottle and not really decorated or anything. Um, and that's more of like a floral scent. So that's why I like to wear it more in the spring and summertime. And then I also have been using this um, little body spray that's by... I don't know what brand it's by, but it's the same brand that does that bum bum cream that I literally just got. So I showed it in a previous video. Um, yeah, I like that as a little body mist, but I really love the Modern Muse and the Gucci perfume. So the next question is tea or coffee? And I feel like this is talking about like hot tea or that's how I'm going to interpret it. Interpret? That's how I'm going to take them. I do not like hot tea at all. Not really a fan. I've tried to drink hot tea and I just, I don't know. I don't, something weird about it. So, like I said earlier, I like sweet tea, ice cold sweet tea, but I love coffee. I drink coffee almost every single day. Um, I like coffee hot. I like coffee cold. Um, I like all different kinds of coffees too. So, I love coffee. Um, I also love sweet tea <laughs> like I said earlier I do not like I just don't like hot tea not for me what are your life goals or your career path so my life goal and I've told my mom this before is to be a mommy so I just think that like I was put on this earth to be a mom to some babies and kids and I just love kids I don't know, you've probably heard me talk about my baby cousin a million times, but that is just one thing that I really look forward to about the future is being able to be a mom and have a family, and that is just something that I think one of my life goals is, is to be a good mom and to raise good, respectful kids. Um, going into that, my career path, so I'm trying to be a nurse. I want to I just want to be a nurse and I kind of want to be a pediatric nurse. I mean, that could always change once I get into nursing school and start doing clinicals and stuff and getting different experiences. But like I said, I love kids and I've always wanted to work with kids. So, um, I career path right now is to be a nurse. Let's see. What sports do you play or have you played? So I never played any contact like sports um, basically ever in my life. Uh, I did gymnastics for a few years. I did dance for a few years, but that was never really me. Um, and then I started drag racing when I was about eight or nine maybe. And I did that until I was 16 years old. So that is something that my family is really into. My brother still drag races. And that is just like his thing now. I just kind of grew out of it. But I still like to go and watch it. I don't even know how to sit here and describe to you like what kind of drag racing I did. But if you ever watch Disney Channel and you look up right on track or you saw, you saw right on track on Disney Channel about the girl with the drag drag racer that's basically what I did growing up so my brother and I raced together and um he still races now he races a really fast car so I don't know he loves it and I just love to support so not me anymore and also with that we I wouldn't have even had time to play another sport because we were gone literally we raced every single weekend until it got like freezing cold outside we always went off racing we traveled so much like we traveled to st louis from north carolina to race um, my dad and i traveled well my brother went one time too to ohio to race like we've just gone literally all over and it was just so fun and i think that that's one of the reasons why my family is so close because we all just we traveled a lot together, stayed in hotel rooms together, stayed in the motorhome together, and it was just fun. We have fun memories from that. Um, what is your favorite movie? So, very cliche, but I love The Notebook. I like any movie with dogs in it. My mom and I recently watched The Art of Racing in the Rain with the guy from This Is Us, and that was a really good movie. 
definitely watch it if you get the chance and then I also really like any kind of like Iron Man movie I just think that Iron Man's kind of badass and I just like him and I like the guy that plays him too so um yeah I'm not really I hate when people ask oh what's your favorite song what's your favorite movie because like I feel like my favorite song is always changing and same with my favorite movie and I don't really take the time to watch that many new movies either so I also really liked A Star is Born um let's see who are your favorite YouTubers so I have been watching YouTube literally since middle school and I can't sit here and tell you that like who my OG people were that I like started watching in middle school but I can tell you who I started watching probably in like high school and up until now so I really really like Alex Garza and her husband Michael and they have a little boy named Julian and they are so cute and they're she's just like really real and I like that she loves makeup and like she I don't know. I've always liked her. I watched, I started watching them back when they were first in Nashville. And then they moved around and now they're back in Nashville. So they're really cool. Um, the next, I watch a few, I watch a few different YouTubers. So I also watch Aspen and Parker. They have a little baby now too. And I just really like Aspen's vibes. Like her house is really pretty and very like minimal. And I like that a lot. So. I've always been in Aspen and Parker and then the last one that I've watched for like a long time is KK and Baby J so Karen and Qua they are just like truly they're just awesome and they're they have three boys oh my gosh they're just really cool I like them a lot and they're really relatable and just like real I feel like all the people that I watch I think are real you know and like I can relate to them so some of my newer people that I've been watching like this year, um, I really like Maggie McDonald. Um, she is, I think her and I are about the same age and she's just very, I think that her and I are a lot alike in some of the things that we do and maybe not what we do, but in some of the things that we're interested in, like our fashion and just like our interior design and stuff. I really like her a lot. And then I've been watching um, Julia and Hunter Haven. Um, they're a very young couple in Texas, and I really like them a lot, too. They're pretty cool. Just a young, cute couple. Um, do you speak any languages, and how well? I don't speak any other languages. I really want to learn how to speak Spanish. That's something I've always kind of been interested in. I took, like, two classes of Spanish in high school, but I wasn't really interested in it then. Probably after high school, I really wanted to learn Spanish. I don't know I feel like when you're forced to learn it it's not that fun but then when it's like on your own you kind of want to I don't know I kind of want to learn it because it's not forced what is your idea of your dream date so I'm pretty laid back and don't expect a lot I mean if we could go to a different state for the weekend I think that would be kind of cool like go somewhere out west but typically if I like if it's realistic date night, I like to go out to dinner, then come home and watch a movie and maybe have a glass of wine. I'm just pretty laid back and I don't really have to have something extravagant to get me through the day. Um, let's see. How long was your longest relationship? So the one I'm in now, um, Matt and I have been together for almost two years. So love it. How would you describe your fashion sense? So, I dress very, very comfy. I will not put on a pair of jeans unless I absolutely have to. I like wearing leggings. I like wearing sweatpants. As soon as I get home, I put a comfy pair of jammies on. Literally today, I have a robe cardigan on over a comfy tank. And I have my sweatpants on. So... I really like the athleisure vibe, um, just comfy and cute, and another thing that I really like, going back to Maggie McDonald, is how just, like, cute she dresses, but very, like, laid back and, like, comfy. She wears, like, um, top and bottom that match each other, and I just think she's really cute and fun. So... I like that little jumpsuits that are matching top and bottom and then you can like spice it up with some jewelry that's pretty cute 
So the next question is, what is your go-to hairstyle? So typically, like on an everyday basis, when I get out of the shower, I blow dry my hair, then go over it with a straightener where it needs it, and I'm on the way. Like today is just a different day where I curled it, but um, I just like to wear my hair straight. I think it lasts, I mean, it doesn't feel, I don't know, I just think it lasts longer and um, feels more comfortable too. It's easy to put it back in a low pony. How many siblings do you have? So I've already talked about my brother, and he's been in a few videos. So I have two siblings. My brother is 16 months older than me, and then he still lives here. Um, but he's actually in the process of wanting to move out, so that's kind of sad. Um, and then I have a sister that is nine years older than me. So we are all very close. We all get along very well, and um, it's a fun time. I love my siblings. <laughs> Let's see, what is your go-to fast food order? So I try not to eat fast food a lot. I mean, in college I kind of did, but if I'm gonna go to a, a drive through restaurant, it's probably gonna be Chick-fil-A because I love their fries. Their fries are so good. But I like their nuggets from there. Their salads are good. Also, something that I found over the summer is that they have really good um, breakfast burritos. They're so good from there. So if you ever get the chance to try it, definitely do. It comes with like some kind of salsa on it. It's really good. I love their breakfast burritos. Sorry, I need to readjust. Um, but that's just if it's like drive through. Um, I really like Chipotle. I will go to Chipotle about once a week. And I love Chipotle that is good and I love their guacamole it's probably the best that I've ever had good thing that my boyfriend and my mom both like Chipotle too so we can always go there um, the next question is PC or Mac I guess Mac I use all Apple products so I don't really know your most memorable vacation memory so every year growing up my mom would get us a big house at the beach and my brother and I would always bring a friend and then my uncle from California would come in and stay with us for the week at the beach so that was really fun we got to ride golf carts we got to walk to the beach and we always like have fun on the beach we would dance and like um, go in the water and just hang out go on walks and stuff so that was a lot of fun we did that all growing up and we stayed at like a campground so you could literally drive the golf carts around the campground which was really fun um, they have ice cream. I don't know. It was just really fun and like it's kind of more of a you had to be there thing But like my family will definitely know what I'm talking about. Those were some of our best memories um, Two more like memories or trips it, They're trips that I've been on that have been very memorable this summer I went to Tampa with Matt to visit two of our friends that recently moved there um, and we just had a great time there with them. They have two dogs that we got to, we got to hang out for like a long weekend and, um, just see Tampa, which is somewhere that I've never been before. So that was a good experience. And then, um, one of the other trips that we get to go on or we've been on the past two years is to the lake with our friends, Mason and Peyton. So if y'all are watching this, thank you. That is, thank you for inviting us. That is one of my favorite trips every year to get to go to the lake and hang out with y'all and Mason's family. And we just always make great memories and have a lot of fun laughs there. Um, do you have any bad habits? Yes, I play with my hair a lot. I catch myself twirling my finger through my hair and that's something that I've literally done since I was a little girl. My mom has like um, the, you know, the home videos of us running around the house or I'd be sitting there and twirling my hair. I have always twirled my hair. My mom said I would twirl my hair falling asleep. So that's a bad habit of mine that I wish I could break, but I just kind of catch my hand being up in my hair and doing it, and I'm like, quit. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I don't know what it is. It's probably some kind of weird, like, habit. But that's something I want to try to stop, and I don't know how to. Tell us one thing about you that you wouldn't know. So something about me is that I probably eventually, or 
think sometimes about owning my own company like I would love to have a like clothing store or um, some kind of little in and out shop or something like that like I would love to be um, run a shop and have employees and um, I'm really into I, I really like fashion even though I don't really dress up and act like I like fashion I really like the process of buying um, and selling clothes like to community or like people that would come into my store so I would love to own a business whether it be big or small I don't know I just think that would be really cool and um, I think I would have really cute stuff there <laughs> what is your favorite Netflix show so I love Gilmore Girls um, Grey's Anatomy I like kind of the first couple of seasons I don't really like the ones that are on TV now <coughs> Um, I like Gossip Girl, of course. I feel like everybody likes Gossip Girl. And I also like Stranger Things. So I'm waiting on Stranger Things to come back out. That's something that we all kind of watch around my house. Um, it's really good. I love it. What was your dream job as a kid? So I always wanted to be a teacher growing up. I, literally anybody that ever came over to my house we had to play school and I was the teacher and they were the student even my uncle that I was talking about earlier from California when he would come and stay with us um, he would literally play student and teacher with me and he would be the student and he would fill out the worksheets that I gave him and then he'd be like okay it's class over <laughs> he like was done with it but he was a, he was a trooper for sure he's one of the best uncles I could ever ask for so he's great um but yeah, I wanted to be a teacher growing up. I always liked um, grading papers. I thought that was really interesting. And just the process of having like a big classroom. I, I really wanted to be a teacher. I don't know why I never went through with it. How many countries have you traveled to? I've never been out of the country. I would, if someone bought me a plane ticket, I would literally go tomorrow. But um I've never really had the opportunity to go out of the country, but I think like in the next couple of years, as I start saving more money, I'll definitely look into going out of the country. Um, I'd like to go somewhere tropical. That would be fun. Who is your celebrity crush? I love Bradley Cooper. He's so cute and so dreamy and just so handsome. Um, I also love Leonardo DiCaprio. He's another one. Very handsome. Easy to look at. Very cute. Um, another person, he's not really my celebrity crush, but he is one of my favorite actors, is Mark Wahlberg. Matt and I will literally watch any movie with him in it. I just think he's kind of cool. Um good actor he's not a crush of mine I don't think he's cute but he does have a nice body the face I don't know but um yeah he's they're good Bradley Cooper what is your favorite color so um anything neutral really I like whites I like beige I like all that jazz I don't know if you would consider gold a color or a um a stain or you know I don't, I don't or a metal or something but gold if I can consider gold a color it's definitely my favorite color literally everything that I own is gold I, I just love gold um other than that I really like gray too probably because that's my middle name yeah that's my middle name if you didn't know my middle name is gray and my birth my real birth name is Juliana so Juliana Gray Vogler and I go by Jana so it's a long story the last question is, who is your role model? So, my role model is my mom. She is my best friend. She is the person that I go to for everything. Any kind of advice I've ever needed in my life, I've gone to my mom for. She is the strongest person I know. And truly, I could not ask for a better mom and friend to have by my side. And I just want to be like her. I want to be the kind of mom that she has been for us and I just love her so much I just wish I could give her a big old hug and kiss right now even though she doesn't love that she doesn't love it when I'm all in her face but yeah my mom is my role model love her she's my best friend in this whole world like I've said I could not say enough great things about my mom because she's who I want to be one day um but 
that is basically it. Those are all the questions that I had written down. I hope that you learned something new about me today. Um, yeah, at least you learned what my birth name is. It's Juliana. Oh, maybe my some of my friends didn't know that. Every time I tell people that, they're like, what the heck? I never knew that. Yes, Juliana. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and you can follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.